Okay, let's say, okay, great. I, I have established a trademark okay. for my business in Canada. Um, and somebody, you know, somebody else down there, maybe like an Amazon seller is using my name. You know, I have an existing registered trademark. What are my options then? How do I actually enforce my rights? So the, the beauty, one of the great things I like about trademarks is it, it provides this really easy entry into the world of IP, enforceable IP that, that gives a bunch of options that, that, you know, for other types of IP, like patents, for example, may be a little bit more complex and certainly a lot more expensive to, to enforce. So uh, the, the thing about trademarks is they give, you know, really strong protection. It's perhaps not as broad as say, a, 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 a getting a patent. Um, and what I mean by that is it's it's generally pretty clear whether someone's infringing your trademark. It looks the same where it doesn't, uh, whereas patents takes a little bit more analysis. Um, uh, and, and given that, uh, and as well as the sort of number of what I'll call administrative options for, uh, for enforcing your patent rights, uh, sorry, excuse me, trademark rights outside of the courts, they make a really strong and cost-effective way to protect your goodwill and your reputation. Um, make sure people are coming to you for the for the goods and services they expect out of you. Yeah. Um, and these include things like uh, the Canadian Border Services Agency will permit you to register the or request with them that they stop any uh, uh, counterfeit goods bearing your trademark. Uh, that requires a registration. Uh, common law or unregistered trademark is insufficient. Um, you can, uh, if you're seeking to stop someone from, for example, using a domain name, registration is often, sometimes a common law is enough, but uh, in, in general, a registration is, is required to show prior use um, or prior rights to that, to that trademark as a domain name. Third thing that I would say is really, really important outside of the court system, I'll say, is you know, most third-party platforms, be it social media, be it you, know, you raised Amazon, um, if you have a registration to submit to those third-party platforms, uh, that is usually when those when they will take significant action to stop the potential. Right. Potential. So they saw, they often say a common law, like for example, Amazon will accept a complaint under with respect to a common law or under, unregistered trademark. Mm -hmm. But in my experience, it's a slow, difficult process. You need to support, all, you know, from an evidentiary base, it's difficult to establish. Whereas submitting a registration serial number is often enough to shut that buyer down or that seller down from right. jumping on your website. Yeah. Your products. Yeah. I, and I mean, what I, what I love about this is that once you have a trademark, a registered trademark, then you can actually, you know, enroll these third party actors to take action on your behalf to protect your rights. Like, you know, Amazon, other, other sort of sellers, you know, other entities out there that are not necessarily the courts. Yes. to to take these actions in other words you don't have to go to court which obviously usually entails significant fees for for litigation and and you know it can be a lengthy and time consuming process uh to get anywhere with it you can actually start exercising your rights right away that's right and yet if you go and, and dig a little bit in the terms and conditions of most of these sites you'll see something like a, a an, an ip agent or a copyright agent or a trademark agent where you can actually submit these complaints directly to them and they'll shut it down on your behalf. Um, yeah. There's a bit of a double-edged sword to that. I've been on the other side of that where they they sort of overreach the rights that are associated with trademarks. But certainly as a trademark owner, those those things are fantastic in terms of, of leveraging those uh, those ways of shutting down um, businesses. In fact, I'm in a I'm involved in a case right now where um, uh, our client uh, did not have a registered trademark. He had a whole bunch of people, uh, you know. Uh, purporting to sell the same products as he did, which you're allowed to do under Amazon. They, they encourage other sellers to list on, on your listings if you sell the same product, but they clearly didn't. They didn't bear the same trademark. They didn't have the same warranty. Um, uh, they didn't have the same company standing behind those products, those goods and services. Um, we made several complaints with, an with the unregistered trademark, um, but until we, we got them a registered trademark, which, which we did in, in fairly short order, uh, they they had to just simply accept that someone could jump on their ad, drive the price down on their goods and services. Right. The day after it registered, all that stuff. Huh. Wow. Okay. Yeah.